Breaking news everyone this morning about Panasonic and Tesla's 4680 battery production. Panasonic is going to start production of Tesla's championed 4680 batteries and you know that next generation 4680 batteries are touted as key to cheaper electric vehicles and Panasonic according to Bloomberg is renovating facility outside of Osaka for production. Well it's about time we start the mass production of 4680 batteries bringing more range more power density and hopefully change the specs of tesla vehicles so i'm going to tell you all about this report now in details this is armin harayan welcome back to your friends from torquenews.com so please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking tesla news and also give us thumbs up if you like this video panasonic bloomberg reports is renovating a facility in japan to start testing mass production of a new type of lithium ion battery that's championed by tesla meaning the 4680 batteries as the key to unlocking cheaper electric vehicles. Panasonic will start prototype production of a next generation 4680 battery early this year at a facility in Japan's western Wakayama Prefecture. Chief Financial Officer Hirokazu Umeda said Wednesday at a briefing on the company's quarterly financial results. The Wakayama facility will first be used for pilot production of the 4680 battery cells after various tests a mass production line will be newly installed likely also in wakayama umeda said separately panasonic posted an operating profit of 73 billion yen which is 640 million us dollars for the recently added uh, ended quarter um, falling short of analysts average forecast of 107 uh, billion yen versus 73 uh, as its consumer electronics business was hit by increased material prices the 4680 batteries named after their dimensions of a 46 millimeter diameter and 80 millimeter height hold more than five times the capacity of the smaller 1865 and 2170 battery cells Panasonic currently supplies to Tesla. This means that fewer battery cells and related parts are needed in an electric vehicle which in turn has the potential to lower its overall cost and make uh, affordable electric vehicles available and accessible for mass production. The 4680 battery was first unveiled by Elon Musk, Tesla's chief executive officer, at an event in 2020. Elon Musk touted the batteries as a massive breakthrough in cell technology that will make it possible for his company to produce electric vehicles that sell for $25,000. While Tesla plans to make the sales in-house also, like at Giga Berlin and Gigafactory Texas, it has asked Panasonic to begin producing them as well. The Japanese company has said it will seek to sell the batteries to electric vehicle makers other than just Tesla. For now, with regard to 4680 batteries, Panasonic is receiving strong requests from Tesla, Umeda said Wednesday. We'll first prioritize supplying Tesla once the verifications are complete, he said. Analysts had cautioned that the new 4680 battery cells could prove difficult to mass produce given that their size can lead to safety issues such as overheating, Bloomberg reports. Umeda said Wednesday the company's initial tests resulted in a performance satisfying prototype of the new cell. The electronics maker's decision to designate a domestic site, domestic factory or facility for its 4680 battery cell production comes after its struggle to expand production at the Gigafactory plant in jointly operates with Tesla in Nevada. The 4680 production site is closer to Panasonic's corporate headquarters in Osaka, allowing it to easily dispatch veteran engineers to fine-tune its new machinery. 
battery rivals such as LG Energy Solution and contemporary Amperex technology are also stepping up investment to beef up their capacity compared with other EV battery heavyweights. Panasonic has been slow to build scale, instead tooting the safety advantage of its batteries and stressing that it prioritize, prioritizes profit over market share, reports Bloomberg. This is very exciting news, friends. I think it's about time that we see the 46AD batteries in mass production for Tesla, so Tesla can bring them into its newer vehicles and also um, work, uh, go ahead with the $25,000 affordable car. So a lot of information. Let me know, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about all of these developments? I will look forward to hearing your comments in the comment section below. Please like this video and give us thumbs up if you find this report interesting. Share in social media. This is Armin Haryan from from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla. Tesla story. doesn't expect constraints in its 4680 battery cell supply this year, but current production capacity is unknown. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up and ring the bell so you don't miss my next uh, story. Tesla gave an update a couple of days ago on the status of its in-house production of the 4680 battery cell. The company didn't want to confirm a production capacity, but it did say that it doesn't expect to have supply constraints from it this year, which is good news. In 2020, Tesla unveiled its new 4680 battery cell, a new tabless cylindrical cell in a much bigger format that the company claimed six times the power and five five times the energy capacity while significantly reducing the cost. Since the unveiling, Tesla has been producing the 4680 battery cells at a pilot production facility in Fremont and deploying large-scale production at other factories, including Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. The first Tesla vehicle to feature the new 4680 battery cells is going to be the Model Y produced at Gigafactory Nevada. Last week, we reported that Tesla planned to deliver those first new Model Ys by the end of the quarter. After the release of the company's quarter 4 2021 earnings, Tesla Senior Vice President of Engineering Drew Baglino provided an update of 4680 battery cell production, saying, Throughout 2021, we focused on growing cell supply alongside our in-house 4680 effort to provide us flexibility and insurance as we attempt to grow as fast as possible. As we sit today, sales from suppliers actually sort of exceeds our other factory limiting constraints that you mentioned, Elon, in 2022. Or to say differently, 4680 battery cells are not a constraint to our 2022 volume plans based on the information we have. But we are making meaningful progress on the ramp curve in Cato, meaning Cato Road. We're building 4680 battery structural packs every day, which are being assembled into vehicles in Texas. I was driving one yesterday and the day before, and we believe our first 4680 battery vehicles will be delivered this week quarter. Friends, a little bit ago I said first Model Y with 4680 battery will be coming from Gigafactory in Nevada. I think I made a mistake. You should have, I should have said Gigafactory Texas in Austin. So the engineering executive confirmed that first deliveries with, of Model Y with 4680 battery cells are expected by the end of the quarter using battery cells from the factory on Cato Road in Fremont, but he did not confirm the production capacity of the pilot plant. In the past, I've covered the production capacity reports of Cato Road facility re regarding 4680 battery production capacity. It's a two-floor building, not very big, about 10 uh, gigawatt-hour gigab <coughs> gigawatt capacity, I believe, at that time. So it's not really big. While Tesla is calling it a pilot factory, the automaker has announced a goal of to produce 10 gigawatt-hour of battery cells at the plant, which is more than many other full-scale battery cells factory. Baglino also said that 
that Tesla is making progress deploying cell production capacity at Gigafactory Texas. He said our focus on the cell, the pack and the vehicles here is driving yield quality and cost to ensure we are ready for larger volumes this year as we ramp and next year. And the 4680 battery cells and pack tool installations here at Giga Austin are progressing well with some areas producing first parts. By the way, this is the first time I see a Tesla re uh, referring to Giga, uh, Giga Texas as Giga Austin. So what do you think, friends, as I keep moving on, uh, should we call the Gigafactory in Austin in the future, Giga Texas or Giga Austin. Anyway, Gigafactory Texas is expected to be the first full-scale 4680 battery cell production facility with a capacity of over 100 gigawatt hour per year. That's very significant, 10 times more than the Cato Road facility and also but smaller uh, compared to Giga Berlin's battery facility which I think is going to be about 250-300 uh, gigawatt hour when it reaches full capacity and will be the world's largest battery factory for electric cars. With the facility in Cato and eventually the start of production in Texas and 4680 battery supply from cell suppliers, Tesla doesn't expect a constraint in 4680 battery cells this year, concludes uh, Electric in his coverage, saying CEO Elon Musk said that chip supply is still Tesla's main production constraints for 2022 that brought the entire almost entire electric vehicle sector stocks down a couple of days ago look at my previous report on that friends and he expects the situation to improve later this year and that next year battery cell supply might again become Tesla's biggest bottleneck in increasing production so Interesting news, interesting things happening with Tesla, and I'm glad to see there is no supply strains for 4680 battery cells, which are going to probably change the specs of Tesla vehicles if they give Tesla vehicles more range because of the battery's capacity. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, breaking news, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And give us thumbs up, please. Like this video if you found the information helpful, and share in social media. God bless you. Peace be with all of you, friends. And let's Let's move on to our next Tesla story.